What's going on, guys? You know who this is. What's going on? How you doing over there? How you doing out there, guys? Come on. I know I can't hear you, but you could type something in or you could give me a thumbs up, something. You know, I, you know, you know the next question I'm gonna ask you. You already know. You already know. Matter of fact, you could probably say it before I could even say it. How are y'all feeling out there? How you feeling? That's really what, what really matters. What really matters more than anything is how you feeling. We all know when we feeling good, even when we need a haircut, we still do good. When we feel good, even when we need a haircut, guys, we still do good. Hey, listen, let's see here. Let's, let's take a look here. Let's see this guy here. I'm just, I wanted to actually come to you guys today and share some, some nuggets with you today on how this thing really works. But uh, before we get started here, let me watch my man here. He's on the golf course. Let me see him knock it out. Nice hit, man. Anyway, man, just <laughs> California living, you know. Anyway, guys, listen up. I hope you're feeling well. Remember, I always tell you on every Facebook Live video that I've ever done, I always give you the secret to success. I told you I'm the most simplest person you're ever gonna meet. And what I told you was, is I told you when you, when you feel good, guys, you do good. When you feel good, you flat out do good. I know you've probably been reading a lot of books. I know you've probably been going to a lot of tapes and seminars and investing big time in personal development. I do the same. But when you mix all that stuff up, baby, when you mix it all up, at the end of the day, here's what they're telling you. When you feel good, you do good. And what does that really mean? What that means is wherever you find success, you will find a rhythm. And wherever you find rhythm, you will find success. That's what that means. And so when you've got a rhythm, you feel some type of way. When you got a rhythm in your relationship, you feel good. When you got a rhythm in your health, you're feeling good. When you got a rhythm with how you vacuum the floor, you're feeling good. When you've got a rhythm, when you're kissing, you know, you're doing that tongue kiss and you left, little left, right, little left, back to the left, you got a, you're feeling good. When you walk in the house and you smell that, your favorite food, you're feeling good. You, I want you to understand, I'm giving it to you raw, uncut, simple, and can't nobody do it better. I'm telling you how it all works. When we feel good, we do good. And as much as you, you know, think that this is a Ramasio principle, it's not. It's really a, it's really a biblical principle. Term talks about how you wait is going to determine how long you have to wait. Say that again. How you wait is going to determine how long you have to wait. So anyway, guys, my whole point here is I want you to know that whatever season of life that you're in right now, most importantly, it is most important. Nice shot. Thank you. So, so when, when, you, when you, when you feel good, you do good. No matter what season of life you're in, whether you're in the winter season of your journey, whether you're in the spring season of your journey, whether you're in the, the fall season of your journey, or whether you're in the summer season, regardless of what season you're in, I'm gonna tell you the hardest thing in life. I'm gonna tell you what it is. The hardest thing in my life, your life, the hardest thing in life that you will ever do, I promise you, I got this one, I hit the nail on the head with this one. I'm absolutely right. So I hope all of you are listening loud and clear. Okay, no matter what season you are in in life, it don't matter. The hardest thing for you to do in life is to believe, is to believe. Did you know that believing takes good old fashioned work? It's hard to believe. 
It, it, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that when there's no food in the refrigerator, that one day soon it's going to show up. It's hard to believe when there's no money in the bank and, ain't, and there hasn't been no money in the bank for a long time for some of you that the money is going to show up. It's hard to believe when the health is not doing so well and the doctor said this and the doctor said that, but you can still turn it around. It's hard to believe. It's not easy. I ain't talking about no name it and claim it. I'm talking about real work from believing, from believing on your hands and knees, being grateful, keeping your energy and your vibrations high when you need a shave and when you don't need a shave. When people feeling you and when people against you, keeping your vibrations high, baby. I'm telling you, listen to me. I got this one right, all the way right. Call your teacher. Ask your teacher, do it. did I get it right? <laughs> Ask your teacher, did I get it right? It takes work to believe. So please, I know some of you probably think I love to have fun and you're right. Some of you probably think, oh, he got a nice little jingle. When you feel good, you do good. That sounds so cute. And it does sound cute. But forget all of that right now. Let's talk about the meat of what I'm saying to you. The white person, the black person, the Asian, the Filipino, the single mom, the married person that's on the sixth with 15 kids. No matter who you are, I'm telling you how it works, baby. Take it from me. I'm keeping it real simple. You can't mess this one up. When you feel good, you do good. So as you saw the title of this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Facebook Live. I told you I was gonna give you some nuggets on this journey. Well, the first nugget I have to give you, I gotta, I gotta keep baking this thing in. I gotta keep hitting it and keep hitting it and keep hitting it. I gotta keep baking this thing in so that you really understand it is impossible for you to remember every book you read, to remember every sermon you heard, to remember every speech you heard. It's impossible. You will not be able to remember all that. You won't. I don't care who your mama is. I don't care who your daddy is. You're not going to be able to remember everything. But you can take this one thing that I'm teaching you right now, and I promise you it will work in every area of your life. I'm not saying you're not going to go through life without disappointments. I'm not saying you're not going to go through life without some bumps and bruises and some scars. Yes, you are. That's a part of the journey. You cannot bypass that part. You have to go through what it feels like to be ridiculed and talked about and people wasn't feeling you and, you know, they didn't call you back and all of this type of stuff. This is the journey, baby. The struggle is real. <laughs> it's real. OK, but listen to me. Listen to the part I want you to get. The way that you wait will determine how long you're going to have to wait. Come on, man. Somebody holler if you hear me blow my own horn <laughs> holla if you hear me i said the way that you wait is going to determine how long you have to wait okay so that's when this concept of when you feel good you do good comes into play that's when it comes into play look i'm not saying i don't cry sometimes i'm not saying i don't i haven't gotten mad i haven't gotten stressed out i all of that's true yes sir you see this wisdom right here you see the great ones that's, that's from you, right? You put the gray ones on me. You did it. See, stress. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, but I'm saying, I've go, I, look, I go through the same things you go through. The only difference is how do I go through it? How do I go through it? Okay? And this is where, for those of you, whatever season of life that you're in right now, okay, I always have told people, don't let, your highs be too high and don't let your lows be too low. You see, this is a journey. It's going to go like this, baby. Absolutely. Your relationship like this. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Your network marketing business like this. Okay. Just that's just I'm letting you know that's the ebb and flow of the journey. Okay. That's how it's got to go. But here's the deal. What I want you to subscribe to, what, what, what I want you to sign up for 
is even though the journey may be going like this, I want you to try the best you can to remember what I said. When I feel good, I do good. So what that means, at all costs, you have to protect you. You gotta protect your sanity. You gotta protect your mind. You gotta protect your affirmations. You've gotta protect, what are you saying to yourself when there ain't no money in the account? What are you saying to yourself when nobody wants to join your business? What are you saying to yourself when they're not calling you back? What are you saying to yourself when your boyfriend or your girlfriend says the relationship is over, it's done, we, it's a wrap? What are you saying to yourself when you've made mistakes, when you've made countless mistakes. See, I want y'all to feel this. I want you to get what I'm saying here. When you feel good, you do good. So what we're saying, what I'm saying, no matter what's going on in your life, you've got to find a way to feel good. You've got to find a way to put a smile on your face. You've got to find a way, as Les Brown would say, if when you get knocked down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. So you got to find a way to reframe this thing. You've got to find a way to reframe it. You do. Let me tell you why. Because if you don't find a way to reframe it, it's trying to take you out. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, it is. It's trying to take you out. It's trying to get you to, it's trying to suck you back into it's trying to suck you back into the very thing you're trying to get out from. It's trying to remind you you're not enough. It's not going to happen to you. You ain't got enough. You ain't tall enough. You ain't black enough. You ain't white enough. You ain't this enough. You ain't connected enough. You ain't enough. That's what it's trying to do. So if you don't find a way to punch back, and I don't mean with your fist. I mean with your spirit. It's, I mean with you punch back by what you choose to believe what you choose to accept, what you choose to see. That's how you punch back. What you choose to say, this is how you punch back at the adversities of life. Look, I'm not telling you what I heard, I'm telling you what I know. I'm not telling you what I heard. This, I, this, ain't, I didn't, this ain't some Sunday morning worship service so I heard this from pastor such and such. No, 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 no. This is, no, this is hot off the press right here. I'm telling you what I know, okay? So when you hear me come on, whether that's tomorrow, next week, or next year, and you hear me blowing the horn on Facebook, and I'm saying, when you feel good, you do good, I want you to nod your head and be like, I got it. I'm getting it. I understand what he's talking about. That applies to my relationship. That applies to my parenting. That applies to my business. That applies to my job. That applies to my community service work. That applies to my sports team. That applies to my sex life. That applies to everything. That's right. That's right, everything. You get that? Did you type that up? <laughs> you got it? It applies to everything. And the reason why I'm talking so long about this concept, because see, I can't talk to you every day. I can't. I got stuff I gotta accomplish and work I gotta do, just like you do. But when I come on, I wanna give you something that sticks. Something that you can take that's simple in every race, every gender, every religious background that's listening to me, they all can feel this one. Everybody can feel what we're talking about. I'm not speaking some foreign language. Trust me, this is the language of, of Kumo Televu. They understand what I'm saying. They understand all around the world what I'm saying. Okay? When you feel good, you do good. Don't credit me. Credit the man upstairs. I'm just a messenger. Okay? I'm letting you know how it all works. Everything about life is about energy. We're sitting in a car, and believe it or not, this car has a certain presence to it. It's a certain energy to it, I'm telling you. This ain't, this ain't no ordinary car. This thing here is distinguishable. It's got a certain energy to it, okay? And so what I'm telling you is, you have a certain energy to you. What, what is the presence of you, even though you may be going through right now? What is your energy fields like? If I could crack you open, and we could look at your sales, and we could see, is there life flowing in between your sails? Or is it stagnant and stuck together where nothing can get through? No life. What, what would I find? 
Okay, if you don't like the answer, let's change it. The bottom line to what I'm saying, guys, is when you feel good, you do good. All right? So that's point number one. Give me a thumbs up if you got that. Give me a thumbs up if you got what I'm saying. That's point number one. Now, let's go over here. Let me give you some of these nuggets real quick. Let's talk about your network marketing journey. Let's talk about it real quickly. I'm so in love with this, this profession of network marketing. It has it's nothing to do with me driving a Rolls Royce. That ain't got nothing to do with it. So get that out your mind. Trust me, the Rolls Royce came after I chose to believe and do the work. It didn't come before, okay? So I'm telling you, I'm in love with this profession. Let me pull over here so I can get real intimate with you. <laughs> so, let's take a walk, guy. Tell you what. So back to what I was saying, guys. Let's talk about this, your journey in network marketing. We've already talked about when you feel good, you do good. We've already covered that, okay? We've already covered, continue to do your personal development. The best investment you could ever make is in yourself. Okay? Let me tell you why the best investment that you can ever make is in yourself. Because wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> You get to take you with you every room you enter into your life. When you go to work, you take you with you. When you go to church, you take you with you. When you go to bed, you take you with you. When you go to the school ground, you go. You, you take you with you. Everywhere you go, you take you with you. So therefore, the smartest investment that you could ever make is in yourself. Don't ever forget that. Put that number uno, okay? Now... I'm gonna tell you, I love network marketing. Here's why I love it. I love it because, uh oh, that must be, is, that, is that me? Am I getting that heavy? <laughs> I'm up here, I'm up here. Got so much power, I'm breaking the wood. No, no. I love network marketing because it's all about personal development. That's why I love it. And ever since I was a young age, I grew up around personal development and it was something I was always attracted to. I've always been attracted to personal development. I don't know why. I, I really can't, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know why uh, I really have always liked uh, strong principles, strong philosophies. And I think as I grew a little bit older, one of the reasons why I liked it so much was because I realized that any success of any kind, it stands on solid principles. And this is the thing that a lot of, a lot of uh, Christian believers, this is the thing that they don't understand. They don't understand how can people who don't believe in God or a higher being or whatever, how can they be so successful? How can they still be so blessed? And see, the principles of success have nothing to do with what your religious background is. It's like gravity. Gravity is a law. It works whether you believe in it or not. And so one of the things that I was attracted to and I was drawn to, is I was drawn, let's go over here. Don't look. Okay. One, of the, one of the things, one of the things that I was attracted to and I was drawn to, is I was drawn to philosophies and principles. I always wanted to know how is it that he or she continues to succeed. I always wanted to know how did they make it to the top? 
how did you get that house? How did you get that bank account? How did you do these things? I always wanted to know how did where did where, where did your success come from? And you know, most people they always want to tell you a story of what they did to get their success and you know, and sometimes they grew up in different circumstances. And so for me, after listening to people's story, I then wanted something deeper. I wanted I wanted something so I wanted watch your step here. I, I wanted more roots. I wanted to really, really know is success a situational thing or is success a principal thing? Is it something that literally is only for the blacks, only for the whites, only for the Democrats, only for the Republicans, only for the Jews? Oh, I wanted to know, is it something that it only it only comes with certain type of people? Or is it a principle based situation? And thank God, when I finally got to the truth of it all, what I learned was success is all about principles, principles, philosophies and principles. And when I learned that, that really for me, it changed everything for me. And I became so interested in that because I became so interested in that, guys, because that was something that I can control. See, I can't control the events of my life, but I can control how I choose to believe. I can control how I choose to respond to the happenings of my life, good or bad, okay? And so, let's walk over this way because they're hitting the golf balls here. Those of you that don't play golf, you should try it. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful sport. Let's take a look at this. Woo, nice shot. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, the reason why I'm attracted to network marketing is because it's full of it's full of principles and it's full of philosophies. If you're going to be successful in it. Listen to me. I don't care what company you're in. I don't care. I see you. I see you out there. You out there, though. <laughs> oh, you're going to hit another one. You're going to hit another one. Back is better though. Oh, you already know. It's always the next shot. Golf anyway. That's it, man. One shot at a time. Cool. You too, man. So, as I was saying, I like network marketing because of the philosophies, the principles. It's not a black person's business. It's not a white person's business. It's not an Asian, Filipino, Hispanic, Latino. None of it. It's not a French. It's not a German. It's a principle business. It's what it is. And if you will subscribe to the principles of success, and every time I come on Facebook Live, I'm always dropping a, a worthwhile, worthy principle that you should pick up, okay? If you subscribe to that and you literally you know, pay the price, I promise you, you'll get the thing. You'll get the result that you want. I promise you. You can't bypass. There is no favoritisms. Uh, you can't sleep your way to the top, okay? This ain't about, you know, oh, my daddy is such and such or my mama is such and such. No, no, it's, it's not about that. You're going to have to believe and work your way to the top. That's what you're going to have to do. And believing takes work, boys and girls, men and women. It takes work. Believing takes work. OK, but I love it because let's talk about uh, before we talk about the journey, let's talk about some of the fruit. The fruit of network marketing that I love, guys, is I love the residual income. I love the, 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 the leverage. I love the time freedom. Oh, my God, I love the time freedom. I love the, the friends that you get a chance to build all over the world. 
I mean, I'm talking about, man, I, I, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, people all over the world that I've developed relationships with. And I'm still looking to develop more. It's just, it's an amazing platform that allows you to grow and develop as a man or a woman. It's not a young person's business. It's not an old person's business. I said it again and I'm gonna say it again. It's a principal business. It's a principal business. Network marketing marries a lot of biblical principles. Whether you know it or not, whether you, whether you can accept it or not, network marketing marries a lot of biblical principles. Uh, and with that being said, let me, let me just put it to you like this. The greatest organization of all times, the largest organization of all times is the church. And how did they start? They started with two. Then they went out and got two more and two who got two. And next thing you know, boom, here we are today. They still recruiting and it's still the largest organization of mankind. Okay. So let's get into your journey and let's make it tailored. Now let's, let's kind of tailor this specific to those of you that are watching. Do you know the number one reason why the people that don't succeed in network marketing, I'm going to tell you the number one reason why they don't okay number one is they have a poor work ethic let me explain exactly what i mean write that down they have a poor work ethic now let me ask you a question can you name nice shot i want to sign them right now <laughs> so can you name one business where you can have a poor work ethic and be successful i'll wait can you name one business where you can have a poor work ethic and be successful do 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 <laughs> There isn't one. So you guys understand my point. The number one reason why people don't succeed in network marketing is a poor work ethic. Now, when I say poor, let me define it, okay? One of the most important skills in network marketing is prospecting and recruiting. Woo, let's take a walk. Prospecting and recruiting. Most people, refuse to consistently prospect and recruit well why they choose not to do it because after they call the five people that they got in their cell phone okay then they say well i can't find nobody else to talk to people are like dust they're everywhere people are like dust they're truly everywhere. But people will tell you that they can't find nobody to talk to. Number one, it's a lie. Liar. That's not true. Okay? People are everywhere. The reason why people don't like to prospect other people because they're afraid of what other people are going to think and say about them. They're afraid of that nervous interaction between reaching out, whether it's in person over the phone, text message, or social media. They're afraid. They're afraid to reach out. Now watch this, watch this. You ready? We're gonna take a quick turn here. Let me tell you why in last year's numbers, in last year in network marketing as a whole, we did $183 billion of revenue as a whole. The largest percentage of that revenue, it came from the millennials. It came from the millennials. Let me tell you why they uh, were the biggest, largest sector of growth of the 183 billion in the last 12 months. Because the millennials do not have a problem. Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up on, uh, in, what's it, Instagram, Snapchat. You can tell I'm a little dated. Um, Snapchat, uh, Instagram. Instagram is the hot one right now. Facebook and all these other things. 
they don't have a problem connecting. Ooh, ooh. Listen, listen. Uh oh, uh, we're about to take another turn. You ready? Okay, we we didn't jump out the rose. We're in the Lambo now. Stay with me. Okay, we're gonna take another turn. Do you know that connecting is a biblical, biblical principle? Did you know? Ooh. I'm gonna say it again. Did you know? That connecting with another human being is biblical. Oh, you want me to prove it? No problem. Let me see if I can act this out. I haven't done this before. Let me, let me do this. So I'm going to be Adam. Now, come on now. Boys and girls, men and women, everybody should know who Adam is. He, he was the first one. Adam. A-D-A-M. Look him up. Powerful dude. So I'm Adam. And there I am. I'm walking. I'm out there in the jungle. <laughs> I'm in the jungle. And I'm walking. I'm out there and I'm just, you know, oh, la -di -da -di -da, la -di -da. And I'm just, you know, messing around. And, and my father told me, this is what my dad said. He said, son, you can have anything in this world. Anything, dad? That's what he said. Wow. He said, you can have anything. And so here it, here it is, Adam is out there in the jungle, forest, wherever you want to say, and he walking and I can have that, I'll take that, I'll take that. And he's just walking in dominion and he's just with power, I can have that, I can have that. And there was only one instruction that my father said not to do. Mm. Here it is right here. He said, son, you see this tree right here? You are not to touch this tree right here. Nothing on this tree can you touch? Do not touch it and dang sure don't eat any of the fruit. Do you understand? He said, yes, dad, I understand. I understand. So Adam continues to mosey on down the road and walking and doing his thing. And here comes this beautiful foxy girl. They said she had long hair. I don't, un I don't know what the dimensions were quite yet. I don't know if it was Coca-Cola shape. I'm really not sure. The jury is out on that one, but I know she broke his neck. Oh, <laughs> you see, she broke his neck. They said he, they said she broke his neck when she walked by and he was just, whoa, he was stunned. What is this? Who is she? And he was mesmerized. Woo! And at that moment, the power of God's divine plan, which was to connect with another person, be, first began. That's when it first began. Ooh, and, and, and I don't know what he said, but it had to sound like something like, excuse me, what's your name? <laughs> Any of the fellas, you know what I'm talking about. What's your name? You know, like, like, like where, where, I, what, what, what would I have said back then? Uh, where you from? Uh, uh, you know, your hair, your feet, your toes, it's popping. <laughs> My point, connection. Connection. Connection is a biblical principle. Most people don't understand it. How in the world are you going to be blessed, become blessed in any business when you won't connect with God's most precious asset, people? Let's take another walk. This is the reason why most people will not succeed in network marketing. They have a poor work ethic. What am I saying? They refuse to master the art of prospecting. Another way of putting it, they refuse to master the art of connecting with other people. They're, they, 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 they're, they're afraid. They're afraid to do it. And that fear paralyzes you. And that's why life stays the same for those individuals. And, and so I can tell you guys, I can tell you that that's the number one reason. Meanwhile, the millennial generation, they're not afraid to connect. They're not afraid to reach out. In fact, they don't care what you say. They'll if you say yes, no, tell me quickly because I got to go so I can move on to the next one. So to keep this really simple for you today, 
regardless of what company you're with, I don't really care, okay? My message to you today, have you mastered the art of prospecting and recruiting? Have you? If you haven't, I want you to start at first base, baby. First base is prospecting and recruiting. First base is prospecting and recruiting. I want you to get good at just connecting with people. On another video, I'm gonna come back and I'm, I'm gonna teach you guys, I'm gonna teach you some more nuggets. I promised you I was gonna teach you what to do with a dollar. I am gonna teach you that, don't worry, don't worry, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it this week. And then I'm also gonna teach you how to connect with people, okay? So look here, man, I'm not here for Facebook fanfare. Some of y'all gonna love me, some of y'all not gonna like me, but I'm gonna love all of y'all no matter what you think of me. And that's how it's gonna be. And you can't change my answer, okay? So I'm gonna keep doing me. I want you to keep doing you. And maybe one day we can meet in a zoo. You never know. <laughs> you never know. So listen, I'm the California kid. I love each and every single one of you. Please remember in all that you do, always remember there is nobody in this entire world any greater than you. Listen, I love you. Some of you haven't heard somebody tell you that in a long time. I love you like Christ loved the church. I love you, man. I love you, girl. And I want you to get better. I hope that you're praying that I get better. Because if I get better, oh man, I'm telling you, the world is going to be in a much better place as I get better. So with that, guys, I'm about to sign off. I hope you take this message you share it with somebody that could use it, somebody that you care for. And until the next time, always remember, when you feel good, you do good.